Hey everyone, this is Senor Stationery again, and today's review we're gonna see um, a couple of very rare Lamy pen models, the Lamy Clip and the Lamy Zero. Thank you, Mr. Legoman. Now let's take a look at the pens. <clears throat> These pens are quite very rare. Um, uh, I was lucky to find them uh, on a lot from a German uh, eBay vendor. As you can notice, this is a very simplistic style, very uh, 19. Well, I, I'm I'm saying this model is from 1979, but it could be a little bit earlier uh, because I saw it on a catalog from 1979, and I have a 1988 catalog, a physical catalog I have for myself for for collecting, and the pen still ran around 1988 at least. So at least from the late 70s to the 1980s, this uh, pen ran along. This one was actually the same price as the logo, which was introduced in 1983, uh, but the budget one, the old full plastic uh, body and clip. So this was a very budget pen, if not fully disposable. As you can see, this is full plastic, polyester probably, uh, matte. Uh, has some uh, texture to it, so it's easier to grip for a long time. Uh, this is a plastic clip, has a glossy plastic, but on the on the inside has some metal. I don't know if you can see um, below; you might not be able to see, but it has some uh, metal uh, metal clip. It has a chrome font, Lamy printed, and this works twist mechanism, as you can see. You just twist and you get the the point uh, revealed. This pen only can use Lamy refills, only originals. I try using a Monteverde alternative refill, but it won't twist as the Lamy uh, refills have on the top of the cap some flaps, so uh, it can only use a Lamy refills. So this is a very nice, as you can see, the sleek line, very groovy kind of 1970s. I, I think this style reminds me a lot from Italian and other European furniture from that era from the 60s and 70s. So it's a very nice elegant discreet pen. Uh, this pen also came in a metal full steel clip and it had embossed Lamy as well. I've tried to buy one on eBay but I, I've missed two opportunities previously. But it should be really nice to have uh, the one with the metal clip as it will make it even more long lasting than this one. Uh, this was probably a disposable pen so I was lucky to find one in really good condition close to new. So um, it's a very really really nice pen. And the Zero. The Zero is basically the same style as you can see except that this was a marker pen. Uh, I will say this pen was probably an alternative to the uh, Lamy's response to a popular uh, paper made flare. So as you can see, this is oh sorry, this is a blue clip. So this is uh, a blue ink. It is full plastic on the metal on the inside. Uh, it has Lamy embossed on the plastic. On the bottom, you also get the color of the ink. So you can see either from the cap or from the bottom tip uh, what kind of ink this is. And when you open, you see a felt tip. This is a very old pen, as I said, this is from a uh, rare lot I got, but it still writes. So let's la make a quick test. This is the Lamy Zero from at least 1979. This is a marker pen. And let's do a test with the other one. This is the Lamy Clip also from 1979 so as you can see it has a very light blue tone the marker pen and the pen well writes pretty comfortable it has a nice uh, uh, diameter comfortable really sleek looking very nice a very rare I would say it's a very nice pen uh, and I do recommend it for collectors very stylish if you want to have like a very understated but elegant pen from Lamy if you don't want to be one of those who have the Safari I think the clip and the zero are a good alternative the good thing about the zero since there are no more marker refills you might be able to fill it with a fine liner 
or a rollerball refill if you have any from Lamy. Again, these are very interesting pens. Uh, I don't know who who's the designer of this because I couldn't get any information. So if somebody knows or can give me any more feedback on these pens or history, uh, I will really appreciate it. This the zero also came in green, red, and black inks. Just so you know. And um, oh, sorry, I forgot this the clip also came in double ink mechanism you can twist on one side and you got red and you got on the other side and you got black or you could get blue and red inks and it came also in a white this was also available in white uh, and in black uh, double ink just so you know thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more reviews bye bye